Mm -hmm. In front of you, you have one father, one father Christmas. Father Christmas is well known all over the planet. With this picture you are in front of you is the oldest picture we can present from Father Christmas Santa Claus from Finland. First we study his helmet. We call the helmet for Lans et Helmet. Lans et Helmet. And in top of the helmet it's one knop. Means the helmet has one edge. But in the middle of the helmet you have an e-winkel, an angle who go up and make that the helmet is not completely round, it has one e-winkel and the e-winkel is one part of his helmet. Under the helmet we have his ears and you look his ears is one special ears who come out one bow and this bow could also be one cobble scuffed with one dick head. Under the uh, eyebrow, we have the oval formed eye. And this man you have in front of you, he's the only one who has one oval formed eye. And as you see, the oval formed eye is the center of this Father Christmas, except his bow lungs. He has between his legs, who is also his god where the sperm come out from. When you look his gut, you see that it one straight ball lungs, and in the edge of that we have also one helmet, and the helmet has also the same lancet formed helmet as the man's helmet with the knop. But also the lancet formed helmet between his leg has also one edge, and this edge we call knop. Under the knap we have the doom, and under the doom we have the kupul, and under the kupul we have one helmet kant. And the helmet kant has three different names, helmet sarikant, helmet kant, and helmet false kant. False kant go down to the neck, so false kant and Yelm Kant and Sari Kant. Now this man he has helpers and his hem helpers we call Tomte. And one Tomte is one red little figure what is well known in whole Nordic part of the planet and the Nordic is actually one dick the Tomte. The Tomte is one dick by itself, one Nordic dick. And the dick has bal pum sekkar, bal pum posar, bal pum kassar. The dick has stura skrittiga bal pum sekkar, stura skrittiga bal pum posar, stura skrinkliga bal pum kassar, groove traperat kabelskaft, chok vekkad hat rand, red valkad hat board, Og ring ring kan hat linning. This part has the tomte, and tomte is as I called one dick. Tomten kan visa se, tomten kan upen bara se, and when tomten visa se, it get one stond called tomt e stond e stond e tomt e doom e stond e Tomt e doom e. The doom e is the melamblo doom, and the melamblo doom on the tomte is coming when we have tomte mössa, tomte hat number one, tomte mössa number two, tomte luva number three, tomte huva number four. Tomte Kranz number five and Tomte Ring number six. Now this Tomte Hat is when the Tomte has the hat on. If Tomte Hat is opening the ring, it becomes one Tomte Mössa. If Tomte Mössa open the ring, it comes one Tomte Luva. If Tomte Luva open the ring, it comes one Tomte Huva. 
and if Tante Uwe opened the ring, it rolled down in one Tante Kranz, and the Tante Kranz can go under the neck, and it become one Tante Ring, Tante Hat, Tante Mersa, Tante Luva, Tante Uwe, Tante Kranz, Tante Ring. When we have the Tante Ring, the Tante is showing his helmet, and the helmet has one edge called a uh, himmel's blow knap. Under the himmel's blow knap come one melon blow doom, under the melon blow doom come the azure blow cupule, and under the, uh, under the azure blow cupule come the uh, indigo blow yelm kant. On the other side we have the indigo rød yard shirt. That means that the sperm is shirried down over the hard field, so it's called called yard shirried. Yard shirred consists of two angles called yard bogar, and under the yard bogar we have the e winkel, and under the e winkel we have the veg. The veg is dividing the whole tonte in two. It goes down with the shaft. It goes down to Balpun Kassar, Balpun Bosar, Balpun Sekar and divide the whole thing in two. You can follow the wake from the down part of the bal, you can follow the wake up via the cabal scuff and you can see the wake when you take down from Hat, Mursa, Luva, Luva, Kranz and Ring. The ring is showing the neck, and the neck is the most sensitive part of that part. So every time you take up the ring from the neck to the crunch, is passing the neck. From crunch, is go up to the hu to the huva, and from huva is the neck nippler. Neck nippler is on both sides of the hard field, and if the ring go down under the neck nippler, is usually one yard crunch. And if it go above the neck nippler is one pickel huva, and if you go above the yard bogar is one carpus luva, and if it go down under the knap, it's one flens mursa, and when flens mursa is closed, it becomes one hut. There the tomte has the hut on. The tomte hut, tomte mursa. Tomte Luva, Tomte Huva, Tomte Kranz and Tomte Ring, we all men who has one under our leg. Uh, tomte we compare with the feminine angel, the feminine angel also we shall say, the feminine angel also open bar or say, but the feminine angel is under bar, that means that the lady has her e inside and we have our E outside. E is the whole thing, we can also call the tomte, is the E we can see, and when E start to stand, it we shall say, when an E start to show the hut, Mursa, Luva, Huva, Kranz, it's Blotta, say. We call it Blotta, and Blotta means that you take down the skin from the blot, from Himmel's blot, Melan blot, Azure blot, indigo blot, or indigo red. Thank you for me. Sekar posar kasar, because there come the sek red era re, and kasar come the kasar, who look that the stones really go up in the kasar before it get out this esperma. So one of them know what is coming in. That means the balbok secretary and the other balbok kasur is knowing what is going out when you offer sperm. It seems to have been some mathematic phenomenon behind that they could know how much one sperm shop is inside in the old offering system. Thank you for me.